गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू ज्ञान ज्योति ऑनलाइन क्लासेस क्लास एट इंग्लिश ग्रामर चैप्टर थर्टीन एंड टॉपिक इज प्री पोजिशन सो ओके लेट्स स्टार्ट दिस ग्रामर एंड यू हैव टू लिसन वेल टू अंडरस्टैंड वेरी वेल सो यू हैव टू नो द डेफिनेशन एंड प्री पोजिशन इज वर्ड एस्टाब्लिशेज द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन ए नाउन और ए प्रोनाउन एंड अदर पार्ट ऑफ ए सेंटेंस रिलेशन बिटवीन नाउन और ए प्रोनाउन Yes, that is called preposition. For example, Rimjim put the apples on the plate. Yes, here apples plate. Apple or plate के बीच में जो position आ रहा है preposition that is on. Suppose uh, I have pen, the pen is in my pocket. In my pen pocket. Both things and this is the preposition joins the two words. रिलेशन बिटवीन टू वर्ड्स ओके सो वी कैन गिव मेनी मेनी एग्जाम्पल्स डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ प्रीपोजिशन एंड लेट स्टार्ट अबाउट द प्रीपोजिशन ऑफ टाइम प्रीपोजिशन ऑफ प्लेस प्रीपोजिशन ऑफ डायरेक्शन एंड मूवमेंट दिस टाइप ऑफ प्रीपोजिशन स्टार्ट वी शैल डिस्कस सर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू टू नो अबाउट टाइम जस्ट आई कैन से गिव एग्जाम्पल द एग्जीबिशन इज ऑन संडे On Sunday or on Saturday, etc. Means uh, this is the time I am showing on Sunday or Monday. That is the showing the time. Suppose I say uh, I will read the book in the morning. <coughs> yes, in the morning. That is the preposition of time. In the morning. It's okay. The dance recited will start at 6 p.m. The dance class. Our dance recital will start at 6 p.m. That is on the time that on Sunday in the morning and the afternoon at uh, 6 p.m. etc. Uh, <coughs> we can make sentences. Hmm? Uh, <coughs> many many sentences we can create uh, for time. Just like next example, my son returns from college before lunch. Before lunch, how is that? लंच से पहले मेरा जो बेटा है वो लौटता है सो दिस टॉपिक टाइम मेनी मेनी एग्जाम्पल्स यू कैन ब्रिंग फॉर लॉ टू क्रिएट द प्रीपोजिशन बाय यूजिंग दिस टाइम प्रीपोजिशन लाइक ऑन इन एट फॉर फ्रॉम बिफोर एक्सेट्रा इट्स ओके सो द प्रीपोजिशन ऑन इन एट फॉर फ्रॉम बिफोर ओके Tells us when things happen and act as preposition of time. <coughs> Or other preposition can use by by till, after, from, etc. Also you can use. Next come to this uh, word of place. एक जगह में एक देखो. At for time and at for place also. At for time and uh, on for time and on for place. Let us discuss how. Let us discuss. He is at a conference. Is at a conference. And previously we saw that the dance recital will start at 6 p.m. At 6 p.m. this time at conference means place, place, uh, preposition of place and preposition of time. This on and at can be used for both type of prepositions. Okay. Next point: the stream flows beneath the uh, beneath the bridge. ब्रिज के नीचे बह रही है लेट्स सी एक प्लेस को दिखा रहा है है कहां पर मींस वी हैव टू से बिनी द ब्रिज द केक शॉप इज अक्रॉस द रोड रोड के उस पार अक्रॉस मींस दैट साइड दैट इज शोइंग द प्लेस ओके सो अनदर पॉइंट सी इज स्टैंडिंग बिहाइंड द डोर यस ही इज स्टैंडिंग बिहाइंड डोर के उस पार हमको पीछे तरफ मींस वी हैव टू रिमेंबर द टाइम द प्लेस वेयर वेयर Place means where means at uh, this 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 place and uh, you can use this type of uh, prepositions to make sentence. So in these sentences, at, on, beneath, across, behind, tell us where someone or something is positioned and they are known as preposition of place. It's clear. Next point: preposition of movement. Let's see movement here. <coughs> 
सपोज एग्जाम्पल ही वॉक्ड टूवर्ड्स द बनिया ट्री टूवर्ड्स द बनिया ट्री कहाँ वो बनिया ट्री की तरफ गया चलना फिरना जस्ट लाइक आई कैन से आई एम इन द क्लास रूम नाउ यस सम वन जॉम इन टू द क्लास रूम दैट इज एक्शन वर्ड दैट इज मूवमेंट वर्ड इन टू यस इन टू यूज इन एक्शन लेट सी वन एट दर एग्जाम्पल रवि वन इन टू द क्लास रूम मीन्स जस्ट यू आर वॉकिंग एंड आई एंटर द क्लास रूम बट आई एम इन द क्लास रूम सम वन कैन इन टू द क्लास रूम दैट इज इन मूवमेंट फिगर ओके Let's see another example. The boy went to uh, biology lab. To biology lab, who get is that move hands? Yes, students are climbing up. That is movement. And I am coming down. That is a movement. Okay. The teachers went down on the steps of the building hurriedly, etc. And uh, another example, out of. Uh, we rushed out of the building. Building. नीचे तरफ हम दौड़ते हुए गए सो दीज आर ऑल द प्रिपोजिशन यूज फॉर द मूवमेंट इट्स क्लियर टू अंडरस्टैंड सो प्रिपोजिशन मूवमेंट बट समटाइम्स सेम वर्ड कैन बी इन डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ सेंटेंस कैन बी यूज इन डिफरेंट वे सो लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट प्रिपोजिशन कैन ऑल्सो बी इंडिकेट एजेंट कॉज पोजिशन परफर्स Concession, then source, major, and manner. So let's discuss about the example. Letter was delivered by courier. By courier, agent. Agent is the courier. Courier के द्वारा भेजा गया. By courier. Okay, that is the agent of the preposition. Okay. Now cause. For example, the late departure of the flight is due to rain. Due to rain. A late में आने का कारण क्या था? बारिश था ड्यू टू रेन ओके सो इट इज दिस इज दॉज ऑफ दैट द इंडिकेट कॉज नेक्स्ट पॉइंट डिस्कस पोजिशन फॉर एग्जाम्पल द मैन विद द वॉकिंग स्टिक इज माई ग्रैंड फादर द मैन विद द वॉकिंग स्टिक इज द वॉकिंग स्टिक जो छड़ी लेके जो जा रहा है विद वॉकिंग स्टिक मतलब छड़ी लेके जा रहा है मेरे दादा है क्या लेके जा रहे हैं छड़ी लेके जा रहे हैं वाकिंग स्टीट विथ इज पोजिशन विथ वॉकिंग स्टीट इज है उसके पास सो दैट इज दोजिशन ऑफ पोजिशन इट्स क्लियर नाउ परपज सी एक्सरसाइजेस फॉर स्टेमिना एंड फिटनेस परपज फॉर फॉर या सी एक्सरसाइजेस फॉर स्टेमिना एंड फिटनेस I do exercise for my fitness. Okay, to say that that is the purpose. Which reason is there? For some reason, we are doing that is the purpose. Okay. The next point, <coughs> concession. About concession, we can use word from. Just like in spite, uh, sorry, uh, in spite of okay, concession, in spite of our hard working or working hard, she did not get promoted. In spite of means, इतना मेहनत की. फिर भी प्रोमोट नहीं हुआ दैट इज द कॉन्सेशन तो नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इज सोर्स दिस लाइन इज फ्रॉम ए फेमस पॉइंट सोर्स इस पॉइंट कहाँ से है लाइन कहाँ से आया है मतलब कभी 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 कविता से हम कोई एग्जांपल देते हैं तो दिस लाइन इज कोटेड फ्रॉम द फेमस पॉइम एक्सेट्रा कोई एनी पॉइम कैन सी सोर्स फ्रॉम सो यू कैन नो दैट बाय Due to, with, for, in spite of, from, yeah, these are all the words used for. Uh, can we indicate some example? Okay, let's see. Major one example. The number of employees had to reduce by five percent. By five percent means major. Not by five percent means measuring the the thing. The last one we can see. See all the with. लॉजिक एंड क्लियरिटी ऑफ थाट विथ मीन्स मैनर कैसे सॉल्व विथ लॉजिक कुछ तर्क करते हुए और क्लियरिटी की सोच से वो आर्ग्यूमेंट की या दिस मैन आर्ग्यूमेंट द मैनर हाउ इन विच मैनर विथ माई प्रिपोजिशन यूजिंग विथ यू कैन मेक दिस सेंटेंस सो यू हैव टू प्रैक्टिस दिस ऑल प्रिपोजिशन टू वेयर फॉर एक्वांस आई एम टेलिंग जस्ट लाइक बाय 
then due to we for in spite of from then by and with these are the preposition used to make these type of sentences now you can see another example sometimes the preposition and sometimes adverbs you know the adverbs tell us more about the verb and preposition you know tell us about uh, uh, joining words uh, or the relation between the noun and pronoun and the prepositions you can see in the center we climb off the stairs we climb off the stairs yes here we discuss about the preposition uh, climb of upar kaam chadhe yes climb chadna hai aur kaam upar ko this is the preposition used but we climb off off is the uh, about the bhar when the adverb speaks more about the bhar that is called adverb so this is climb off of me super that is adverb but it is prepositions yes you have to know the difference between adverb and prepositions are you clear about all this point i do hope so so student let us discuss about different kinds of prepositions you have to know there are five types of preposition i have written in the blackboard all of which see first is simple then compound then double then participle and phrasal these different types of prepositions are there simple prepositions as i previously told just like after uh, by in on of etc they are all simple prepositions but compound prepositions by the use affix just like uh, prefix b and a for b and i in the site a about okay these are adding something adding a prefix such as a or b e that is called compound preposition next one double double we have to two uh, preposition together from and be together hmm? let's say come from uh, above just like and i am from beneath you can say out of the syllabus is uh, out of course uh, this sub the lesson is out of course i can say the two double preposition use next to yes my house is next to your house i can say that is the double preposition use okay participle means uh, uh, verb in the identity i form but here acting as preposition just like regarding not withstanding bearing yes these are the words can be used as preposition the next one phrasal verb yes Pre two prepositions uh, phrasal verb and prepositions together just like along with according to instead of these are the words we use many times yes in spite uh, instead of my uh, advice he did mistake we can say or uh, according to my teaching it's okay we can say different type of examples uh, for you to know the different types of uh, pre prepositions it's clear now let's see about different types of preposition how to use like beside and besides beside means by the side and besides means in addition to do you understand the two preposition how to use let's discuss beside means by the side the puppy is kept beside their mother matlab uske paas uske jagah mein but besides the restaurant usko chhod ke the restaurant ko chhod beside the restaurant means restaurant ko chhod ke he has two other sources of income yeah i can say besides my teaching career i have extra income by different job i can say means in addition to so two prepositions is to which how to use by e and es okay where of is origin and where of where of is moving away for example the copper made of pure silver of is origin yeah jahan se shuruaat hua hai bana hai but he fell off the wall fell off the wall means uh, moving away from the wall and hurt himself wall se gir gaya aur hath pe tut gaya so that is o f of and o f f of now between and among you know between means uh, talking about two two person 
student between two the two student right or left we can say but among me is the uh, among all the student he is the best one which is semi so including all the students yeah among and no uh, more than one and between is two people you are generally he is many times he is very clear you should know since and for since suppose uh, <coughs> i am teaching you so online classes since morning so, or since first of the period yes since point of time means point of time but for is used for period of time or i am teaching online classes for three three periods for three periods that is the period of time okay from is action in means is used in past present and future just like my shop will remain closed from tomorrow means future okay so about using since for and from it's clear next one with and by yes with means i can write with my left hand i can write with my right hand we can say with means uh, by the help of hmm, some object by and is do in the uh, just like we have to use uh, Uh, just uh, door means uh, by the subject. The roast chicken was cooked with a sharp knife by my father. By my father means by the subject father. Okay. So I can say different preposition in different way we can use it. Did you all understand, student? Here are given uh, certain nouns. and adjective and verb there this type of preposition is used we given the book many many more examples and you can see yes like appetite for passion for many words even capacity for content for liking for etc you can see to approach to a reference to or objection to allegiance allegiance to attachment to expectation to Uh, in difference to this and to you can say this now by using prepositions okay bargain with conformity with or alien aliens with means with this now this particular preposition is used okay fellow of proof of or distrust of observance of assurance of yeah this preposition are used in this rule now adjective honest in correct in okay in adjective proficient in temperate in ex correct accurate in busy busy with delighted with or contented with inspired with disgusted with endured with or compatible with etc this uh, adjective this uh, preposition is used seek of i like i thought of this picture okay or uh, assured of uh, Precious of, then distrust of, guilty of, worry of, uh, ignorant of, devout of, etc. Of is used in this adjective. Okay, to come on to, true to, is true to my color. Yes, come on to, uh, convict to, adjacent to, fatal to, foreign to, space essential to, true to. Many many words are here. Hostile to, congenial to, assertive to. So these are words you need to practice more. So you have book already many many words given. You need more practice of reading that you can be perfect in this. Now this people is only using this word. Confirm to surrender to. Yeah, the the thief surrendered to the police. We can say apologize to, prefer to, pretend to, succumb to, object to, etc. Okay, with dis disagree with. Quarrel with, sympathize with, associate with, comply with, correspond with, etc. These are the verbs and prepositions used. So in the book given something, but if you go follow dictionary and read many many words, you will get more more about the information about these prepositions. And I hope you whatever I discuss, you have to repeat and have to read again and again. Then all your doubt in these prepositions will be clarified. And you will not do any mistake in grammar. I am do all these days. You have to study again, again, as I told you about different type of prepositions like simple, compound, double, participle, and phrasal. 
also how to use and just like uh, suppose in on and at sometimes it is used as, as a place sometimes it is used as time and different way it needs more study and whatever i discuss you practice it and hope you will see you in the next class and till the time you study well and meet you once again in the coming online class have a good day and goodbye